Hello, everyone. I am Naya Swami Maria, and this is Naya Swami Ananta. And we are here to be together with you <clears throat> as warriors of light and to share in healing prayer and blessing this morning. So <clears throat> let us begin together with a prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Friend, Beloved God, Jesus Christ, Babaji Krishna, Lahiri Mahashai, Swami Sri Yukteswar, and our beloved Guru, Paramahansa Yoganandaji, Saints of all religions, we lovingly bow at thy feet. Great masters, be with us. Expand our consciousness to behold your consciousness, to feel ourselves one with your light. <clears throat> Thank you for bringing us together, as your instruments flow through us, as blessing, as harmony, as unconditional love, as compassion, to all of life. To all of your creation. creation. Om peace. Amen. We are um, holding these every week to help us uh, come together as a world family. And I wanted to just touch on one aspect this morning, uh, today. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say this morning because only this morning here, but in the world it's it's uh, a day for us to um, share the blessings of the gurus that we have, the pandemic, the global depression, the violence in the world is understood by disciples as a loving uh, medicine for our illness. Jyotish alluded to this briefly last week, but the world is afflicted by intense materialism uh, with various symptoms and uh, violence and wars. And the uh, pandemic, the depression, the upheaval are not curses from the Divine Mother. They are in fact medicine loving medicine so that we can recover from the illness of materialism, we can recover from the illness of greed, and that understanding which Yogananda and our line of gurus, Christ and the other great avatars have given mankind repeatedly, um, needed a um, intense application and Swami Kriyananda often talked about the need for mankind to be shaken out of the dream of materialism. So we are being shaken, but we are not being shaken as punishment, we're being shaken as a wake-up call. This is a divine alarm clock to wake us from this dream of greed and money and materialism and sensual living. And we've forgotten spiritual living simple living, compassion. And so we should be very grateful that the world is getting this wake-up call. But what I'd like to do today is to ask the masters, our masters and all masters, to help mankind see the blessings in this upheaval, the needed shake-up of the general consciousness is to wake up to the spiritual bonds of divine love, 
compassion and kindness that are the focus of the Ananda Sangha and all true paths. So let us be grateful that we have understood this, but let us share wisdom with our brothers and sisters around the world. And as we do the affirmation, as we do the meditation, as we do the prayers today, let us ask Master, Christ, the Buddha, the great masters, to open the hearts of men to the blessings of this opportunity. Let us uh, ask the masters to share wisdom and compassion with our brothers and sisters that they may benefit from these um, seemingly untoward situations. But Sister Gyanamada said, it's not the things that happen to us that matter, it's what we become through them. If we can ask the masters to share wisdom with our brothers and sisters, with all truth seekers, and with those who have up to now been not too interested in truth, uh, more interested in materialism, let us ask that they be given insight into the true nature of Divine Mother's love, her compassion, her kindness, and the all-pervading joy of spirit, simple living, uh, and high thinking. Um, the blessings of nature are available to all. Everyone can look up at the sky and see beautiful clouds, beautiful blue. They can see trees. They can see animals, flowers, plants. And they can see the kindness of the all the people, the nurses and the doctors, the scientists feverishly trying to figure out how to defeat the virus, uh, and looking to nature uh, for cures, plants, herbs, lifestyles, all these things. They all point us towards the Divine Mother's blessings, and maybe we haven't been focused on that because we've been too busy with our materialism and our net worth and our wars. There's one, uh, one good aspect of the pandemic is the United Nations called for a worldwide truce for all wars. And I thought, well, <laughs> if this works, it would be absolutely great. So let's hope for the best. And let's pray that Divine Mother's blessings and wisdom, the wisdom that we have received through Guruji, through Sri Teshwar, Lahiri Morshai, Babaji, and Christ, be shared with others in whatever measure they might be receptive. So let us bring that into our uh, affirmation, prayers, and meditation this morning, uh, today. I invite you all now to <clears throat> join with us in the affirmation that we have chosen to live by and give focus to, uh, especially at this time. And we'll do this affirmation numerous times together, uh, first doing it out loud in our speaking voice with our full awareness and energy to draw attention to the uh, <clears throat> all parts of our being and <clears throat> on the conscious level. And then we'll do it more softly, uh, moving ultimately towards a whisper so that it be instilled in the uh, subconscious mind and then in the superconscious mind. And we'll go through these different uh, levels so that the whole of our being is filled. It's this affirmation emanating, emanating from our consciousness through our whole being. We are this affirmation. And we'll do this as a prelude to uh, guided meditation. I'd like to just read this once through for you first. <clears throat> God's light is within me and around me. With the sword of faith in my hand, with the love of God in my heart, I am a warrior of light. I join my brothers and sisters everywhere to overcome fear with faith hatred with love, and disease with health. We all are warriors of light. 
we fill the world with God's light. So let us now <clears throat> sit with the spine tall, eyes closed, bringing our awareness up, up the spine, through the brain to the point between the eyebrows. <clears throat> and we'll do this affirmation responsively. God's light is within me and around me. With the sword of faith in my hand. With the love of God in my heart. I am a warrior of light. I join my brothers and sisters. Everywhere. To overcome fear with faith. Hatred with love, Hatred with love. And, disease with and disease with health. We all are warriors of light. We, of light. we fill the world with God's light. Again, taking this more deeply into your consciousness, God's light is within me and around me. with the sword of faith in my hand, with the love of God in my heart. I am a warrior of light. I join my brothers and sisters everywhere to overcome fear with faith Hatred with, Hatred with love and disease with health. Disease with health. We, all we all are warriors of light. We fill the world with God's light. And now in a whisper, still with all of your energy, the warrior of light energy within you. Let us affirm, God's light is within me and around me. With the sword of faith in my hand, with the love of God in my heart, I am a warrior of light. I join my brothers and sisters everywhere to overcome fear with faith, hatred with love, and disease with health. We all are warriors of light. We fill the world with God's light. And now mentally only, in silence, deep within yourself, feel this affirmation vibrating in every cell, in every atom, this eternal truth. God's light is within me and around me, with the sword of faith in my hand with the love of God in my heart. I am a warrior of light. I join my brothers and sisters everywhere to overcome fear with faith, hatred with love, and disease with health. We all are warriors of light. We fill the world with God's light. We all are warriors of light. We fill the world with God's light. We all 
are warriors of light. We fill the world with God's light. Feel this light within you, vibrating dynamically. And feel that you are surrounded by beings of light, our great masters. As Yogananda Ji wrote in his autobiography, Baba Ji and Christ, reside in the Himalayas, one in a body, one in the cosmic form. Praying for and guiding the salvation of humankind, of this planet and beyond. And as warriors of light, feel yourself with these great masters in cooperation, a part of their divine team. Feel the strength and magnetism of God's light within you and around you. And feel this light, see this light expanding expanding and expanding filling the surrounding communities the province you live in or state the country as it expands behold this light dissolving boundaries melting physical distinctions. Expanding across land masses and great expanses of ocean to encircle the planet, dissolving physical and mental limitations transcending orientations of race, of color, of lifestyle, of preference, of ideologies, of politics. Behold the light encircling the planet and moving beyond even this physical boundary into space, the space of our solar system and beyond. Our masters beholding all time and space join with them to mentally, lovingly direct this healing light ever outwards to include all creation. Feel the unifying nature of this eternal light, the unifying destiny of this eternal light.
Become aware of your breath. Entering into your being as light. Flowing out of your being as light. the breath of every individual entering in as light, flowing out as light. The flow of this light ever natural to your being and the way you are made and the way all beings are made. This light pulse of the universe itself flowing through humankind and all of life. Be present at the point between the eyebrows. Behold the light dynamically again there. Be conscious of the love of your heart, your compassionate and loving nature, and bring that awareness to the spiritual eye so that it is a conscious reality there. And let's bring our hands together as magnets. And concentrating the energy there, let's rub our hands together. Feel the energy. And let us consciously direct it outward as channels, as warriors of light to all the world and all beings. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Amen.